Thank you, Mr. Elliott. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, uh, my first comments uh, to the City Council, I wish it was the full City Council because uh, I feel like you all, all, need, all five need to hear it, but uh, you guys waited way too long to fire Chris Chung. He was never qualified for the job of City Manager. He was given that job as a gift. He was unqualified. He, he had no place ever having that job to begin with. And the fact that the City Council gave him $440,000 to say goodbye is unthinkable to me. With as broke as West Covina is, with as small as our police department is, compared to what it used to be, and we're paying out $440,000 for this guy to take a hike, not to mention the $60,000 that the former city council forgave his debt when he sued the city and lost and was ordered to pay attorney fees and never did because the city council said, that's okay, Chris, we'll cover it with taxpayer money. I'm sick of that kind of stuff. And you young people that are on this student council here, I, I hope you got a really good look at the nice side of city government because there's another side too. And when you were doling out that million dollars that they, that they gave you, of that funny money, that pretend money, really that should be considered taxpayer money because that's what it is. And, uh, you know, those of you that were shadowing city council people all week, you don't know and you didn't hear about how Athens Trash Company, those, those, it should be called Goodfellas Trash Company because they're a bunch of crooks because they make deals with the city. They make deals with the city council by, by lining their pockets with money for their campaign funds. So they'll vote with them when it comes time to renew the contract. They just lost a big case with another city. West Covina should renege on that old contract. We pay double in West Covina what surrounding communities do. So Athens could have the right to charge us $750 for a dumpster at your house. And you can't go anywhere else. Even though there's a lot of other places you can go, you can't go because Athens controls everything. And the city of West Covina, the city council gave Athens the keys to the city. It's really unthinkable, the, the shambles that the city is in. And I know you guys like to put a, a nice face on everything, but uh, I think West Covina is in bad shape. Our best day is maybe behind us. We may lose our police department because of the mismanagement of this city by people like Christopher Chung and the people that put him into office, the former city council. And the only one that remains the common thread is Steve Herford, who's not even here tonight. He needs to be held accountable for all the financial misery that has befallen the city of West Covina on his watch. 25 years is enough. He needs to go. And when I see a uh, Second Amendment being ignored in West Covina, it really upsets me because this is a right we have through our Constitution. If you young people don't know about the Second Amendment, Google it. Learn the Fourth Amendment, too. It's really important. The city of West Covina just lost a $200,000 judgment, excuse me, settlement, never went to court, for a Fourth Amendment violation by our police department. And I hope these young cadets always, if they become police officers, I hope they, if they become police officers, I hope they never break the law to enforce the law. You know, uh, the, the former mayor, Steve Herford, uh, had the police chief come down here and he, he gave us a comprehensive one-page review that he didn't write and the city manager didn't write about the condition of the Second Amendment in West Covina. And, uh, you know, he went on to say that nobody in the entire city is worthy of a, of a concealed carry permit in this city. No one, except two reserve police officers. I've been in contact with some people that are running for local office in the surrounding communities and it astounds me how little they realize the power that they're asking for because local communities decide the Second Amendment policy locally. A lot of people think it's the state, or a lot of people think it's the police chief. David Faulkner is a political appointee. David Faulkner is a contract employee. He does what he's told by this city council. He doesn't set concealed carry policy in West Covina. He does what he's told. He gets his marching orders from the city manager, who gets his marching orders from the city council. I'm tired of the confusion and the murky water. I wish the city attorney, the new city attorney, would clarify that for everyone here tonight. Who sets concealed carry policy in West Covina? Is it the police chief or is it the city council? Thank you.